Hello everyone, welcome to round number four of the Mini Madness Championship. This is the highlight videos and uh, we are at the Goodwood Motor Circuit. This is of course a real track, so an actual classic for Mini Cooper racing. So this one will be good indeed because it's basically made for the car. There's only one layout and that layout is 2.4 miles in length around about seven corners i say around about it varies i'm just going to go off the wikipedia for this track right now because we all know wikipedia is true key corners on the circuit turn three st mary's a very hard corner a very hard braking zone as well lots of incidents are bound to happen there very hard to get right even on your own side by side racing makes it that little bit more difficult Turn 7, another key corner, which is the chicane, of course, and that is mostly single file. I say mostly because you could be very brave and go for full-on risk to try and get that reward. We are currently at quarter past one local time, uh, and we're going to have 59 competitors competing across five splits here at the Goodwood Motor Circuit. As always, qualifying is five minutes in length. We're going to have a sprint race, which is three laps. That's then going to be followed by a reverse grid feature race, which is going to be nine laps in length. Now, unusually for Mini Madness, this was then streamed on Twitch, but the VODs have been uploaded in advance. They have been uploaded throughout the weeks. You can catch them below if you want to catch a full race. Without further ado, Let's stop me talking. Let's actually get in the thick of the action and what happened here at round four in the Mini Madness Championship. And we set off here. You can see the throttle management happening there that you have to do. Trevor Nick looks like he's had a fantastic start here. Further back, Super Dragon also has a fantastic start here as we head towards Magic Corner for the first time. It's Ram Ram Bikini, further back, but not Trevor Nick. They're a little bit side by side, but are they going to pull the line of stern? Yes, they are. Further back, we got Mark Magic here. Super Dragon going around the outside of him. Is he going to make that stick? Is this going to be a move? It is indeed. Super Dragon up a one position already and already looking to make moves on Mark here. As and uh, Super Dragon currently in P2. Further back, we've got Herm fighting with Benop and Magic's here. Who's going to get this position? Every point matters in this championship. And uh, Herm is setting a purple lap here. So Herm using that boost to full advantage and gets the position into P5. Herm goes all oh, a little bit sideways. Oh, there's a huge bit of contact there with Magic's here. Magic's here is about to go off to Narnia and it reappears there into the chicane. We go. Herm manages to get P5. Ram Ramagini is already finished here. But P battle for P2. It's going to be Super Dragon from Trevo Nick just here. And then P4 for Mark, P5 for Bernard, P6 for Herm, and P7 for Magic Tear. Magic Tear just getting pushed off there at the very end. Now, if any driver wants to make a complaint, I recommend talking to the drivers first of all. Mistakes can happen, um, but we do have the instant counter as well. But what a first race there. With the 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th for Ram Ramagini looking to try and overtake. Making it 3 wide here. Down this straight here. Mini's going 95 miles an hour. You don't see this very often. Little taps here, there and everywhere. But Ram Ramagini up two positions down the middle. Trying to get that slipstream off mark. It's not fully working. There we go. Ram Ramagini through. And Trevor Nick trying to follow as well. In to the right hander. Then the left of St. Mary's. Hopefully there's no carnage here as Herm leads away. Where's Magic here gone? Magic here went off to Narnia. Oh, managed to survive a little bit. A little bit of contact here, there and everywhere. Super Dragon, the one to lose out from all of that. We'll try and have a look at what happened to Magic's here a little bit later on. Uh, yeah. We're just focusing on this. Mark flashing the lights here, trying to get down the inside as they come into the braking zone. Ram Ram Bikini, Mark. Oh, I think that's Benop going off to Narnia. Oh, it is indeed. Benop's going to have to come back on. Herm now leading the way from Trevor Nick. Oh, Herm's got it all wrong. Getting the chicane. Oh, Trevor Nick gets the lead here, but Super Dragon's going to have the run of them all. Super Dragon looking to get a slipstream here of Trevor Nick to try and get into that lead position as we head on to lap number three here. 42, the fastest lap so far by Super Dragon. Down the inside of Trevor Nick. Gets it done here. Super Dragon into P1 in the Scooby Doo machine. And uh, we're going to be side by side. Oh, here we go. They've gone off. But not going to have to do it on his tyres here. Going to come into this woodcut corner. Potentially going to run wide. Oh, managing to survive it. Magic here giving it a little tap. Mars gone wide. They're all going wide here. Into the chicane. Magic here up into P4. Capitalising on people's mistakes. Into P4. Magic here goes. And potentially into P3 as Trevor Nick goes off to Narnia. Going to hit the barrier surely. Just misses it. Magic here going to go up into P3. Fantastic. Here from Magic's here, just capitalizing on other people's mistakes. Up into P3 and Super Dragon has checked out now as well. 7.7 .7 seconds behind the leader here. These guys are Herm now trying to make the move on Magic's here as well. Herm looking to be on the inside. Magic's here has gone off to Narnia now as well. 
Mad Herms up here to P3, Tremonic P4, Mark P5 here potentially, and Magic's here going to drop all the way back to P7 as Benop is going to get that position as well. Mark leading this P4 battle, also Tremonic's checked out for that P3. So it's going to be your fight for P4 here, Mark Herms, Benop, who is going to get P4? Ram Rambagini's just doing the last chicane now, but we're staying with this battle. We are not moving from this battle because it's really, really close. Ram Rambagini are going to be your race victor there. In P number one. Oh, there's a little bit of contact here, there, and everywhere. Herm into the barrier. Oh, my word, there's carnage there right at the end. That's probably going to need a review of some kind. Super Dragon going to be P number two. Trevanik P3. Mark P4. But not P5. Magic's here. P6. And Herm, unfortunately, loses out big style there in P7. As we get ready with the racing, lots of flashing lights here. We've got two Monte Carlo rally liveries in here as well. The muddy one is Dave. The non muddy one is Jackery Q. The Kiwi, as they head towards Woodcourt, Baggio Bill pushing a woob along a little bit here. They're not going to go four wide, surely, into this corner. It doesn't work, guys. Four wide does not work. Three wide, they're going to try. Baz goes off to Narnia and doesn't get it working. And he's going to fall all the way to the back of the field. Uh, let's jump to Jamis and Kenny. The lead battle here at the moment. P1, P2, P3, P4, P5. How good does that look with the Mini Coopers through there? We got a little bit of contact for back between Inair Clay and Baz. And it looks like uh, Jackery Q was off there near the pit wall. But Jamis leading away from Kenny. Kenny very, very very close to that bumper of Jamas as they head towards a magic corner once yes. again. And it turns into two wide side-by-side -side racing and they all survive. Very well. Oh, Jamas is off! Jamas is off! And Kenny breaks to let Jamas back on. Interesting strategy there. Kenny being a bit of a wingman, but Jamas is going to go off again. And Kenny's going to get the lead there from Jamas. Dirty Tides having an impact. Dave's going to have a run as well as they head towards the final lap now. It's Kenny from Dave. Jamas down into P3. This is dreadful for Jamas' championship hopes here. As Rats is in P4, he's got a lot of cars behind him. A lot of work to make up now. And he's potentially going to have Dirty Tires on the car again into Magic Corner we go Rats trying to get the move done as well on the inside of Jamas it's all going wrong for Jamas he's got it completely wrong at Woodcock on the last lap and he's been absolutely mugged here by absolutely everybody we go, Dave and Kenny could Jamas capitalise here Kenny trying to keep this position at this moment in time goes defensive for Woodcock that's the best place to be at this moment in time for Kenny it's very hard to go on the outside of Woodcock it's a double right hander in we go a little bit of contact there between the two drivers oh Jamas is going to go up into P2 with that little bit of contact and through they go is Jamas looking to get the move done here into the, the chicane of death he's not round they go Kenny keeps it. Kenny's going to be a race victor here in the sprint race. It's going to be Kenny from Jamas. And Dave looking to not get mugged by Crazy further back. You can see them flashing away to Crazy P4. We P5, P6 for Rats, P7 for... Well, it all went chaos there. Baz just got it there, I think, from Jackery Q. N.A. Klein and Baz, your bill at the end with that penalty. What a fantastic first race that was. We're going to see what happens on this first lap from this perspective. Now, if we see Carnage, we'll obviously jump to the TV camera. But I'm very interested to see how... The drivers handle it and i'm assuming you guys will be interested in this as well so you can see the start there it looks like jackery q's had an absolute atrocious start there so is na cly na cly going to the right side straight off the bat there really struggling with the starts here today na cly and you can see kenny's had a brilliant start here already trying to make moves on dave here it's uh, the first corner we go Magic corner here and uh, N.A. Clyde staying well out of the way here. A little bit of contact there between Kenny and David. That's going to send Kenny off into Narnia. So we're going to jump towards Jamas now at this moment in time. A little bit of contact there between those two drivers. You see Jamas trying to make moves very quickly here with Crazy here. And you see that line of turn on the left-hand side. A whoop on his own here. Maybe trying to help out Jamas a little bit. And uh, into the right-hander. And uh, this is all flat out. This is Ford Water. As we head towards St. Mary's now. You see Jamas trying to make moves here. Trying to get these moves done. Um, into the right hander now as we prepare for St. Mary's. You want to break where this tarmac is, really. Obviously, during the race situation, you have to break it a little bit earlier. You see, Jamas getting a little bit of moves there. Pushes crazy forward here. And it's still Baggio Bill leading away from Jack Q at this point in time. There's a battle bear. Jack Q going for the inside here. And uh, looking like he's going to get that move done. Baggio Bill gives him plenty of space there on the outside. Jack Q into the lead there. We can see that in the distance. And Jamas making a move all crazy here on the right hander of Levant as we head on to Levant straight now. And up ahead, there's a fight here for the lead between. Baz and Jackery Q. And uh, we continue on now towards Woodcourt. Once again, it's Jamas versus Kenny. The battle for the lead. The battle for the 40 points. 40 points on offer here for these two drivers. Kenny getting down the inside of Jamas now. This is some fantastic racing as they head towards Woodcourt. Is anyone going to back out? They're going to go side by side into Woodcourt. Let's find out. Oh, Jamas backs out of it there. Kenny goes to the full lunge. Gets it stopped. Gets it done. Through Kenny goes. Crazy's about to go to Narnia here. Crazy's going to run off. That's going to bring Rats into play for that P3 position. Into the chicane they go. And Crazy tries to maintain a little bit onto the grass. 
Crazy goes. Rats is going to be all over the back of Crazy towards the end of that. There's a few off in the background as well. We set ourselves up for St. Mary's once again. Dave all over the back of Rats. We're going to be two by two a bit further back. We may jump to that in a second. Oh, Rats is on the grass a little bit. That's not going to help at all. Uh, too wide. Here we go. Oh, a little bit of contact there between Crazy and Baz. There was room there. Just a little bit of contact. And uh, these minis do bounce. And Baz dropped down to P10 as well. Oh, where did Baz your bill come from? My word. <laughs> Where did Baggio Bill come from? <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh, but Baggio Bill just reappears out of nowhere <laughs> as we continue on. Let's jump to the lead battle once again. Kenny and Jomas is back down to a one tenth of a second. And uh, Kenny goes defensive a little bit for one cut as uh, we continue on. That's made me giggle like that. Just randomly. <laughs> Into the wood cut we go, and Kenny and Jarvis. Now, now that's something you need to clip, guys. That is something you need to clip. That's what Twitch is there for. Jackie, we queue. They're all in there. Into the chicane we go. Any mistake here is big. We've seen that already. Oh, that was Rats making a mistake. Rats has made a huge mistake in the chicane, and Rats is going to go all the way into the back of the field. We just saw that briefly, and uh, Rats is going to go all the way to the back of the field. We'll try and get another view of that at some point. Monte Carlo rally minis really going for it. Oh, we got a fight for the lead here. Jomas is overtaking Kenny for the lead, leaving Levant corner onto Levant straight. Jomas is literally taking the lead now. So Jomas trying to keep it for the last time. Kenny looking down the inside here for Woodcut. Is he going to get it done? He breaks late. They both break late. They both go side by side through Woodcut. Are they going to survive? Oh, brilliant racing here from these two. Kenny into the lead. Kenny backs out of it for the chicane. No, they don't. They go side by side. A little bit of contact here. But they survived the chicane there. And Kenny's got a little bit of a run on Jomas here. They head on to the last side. Let's quickly look here. Jack Q up into P3 with a penalty there. Dave now takes that back as we come on to the last lap. For this morning, split two in the feature race. I jump back to your lead battle. Jomas in the lead so far. Oh, this is going to be a fight towards the line. Lavan straight. Here we go. Kenny versus Jomas. And Kenny's got the momentum here. Look at that gap coming down. It's two thousandths of a second. Oh, it's ten. It's oh my word, one hundredth of a second. Oh, it's changing. It's changing. It's changing. Oh, this is going to be mighty, mighty close as they head towards Wood Cup one last time. It's four hundredths of a second separating thirty-eight thousandths. Well, however you want to call this. Into the braking zone we go. They dive on the brakes. They're still side by side. Kenny's on the inside at Woodcut. Kenny gets the move done. Kenny's in the lead for the chicane. Kenny's in the lead. Jomas gets the run surely here. As they come into the chicane here. Oh, it's that better. Jomas has hit the barrier. Oh, Kenny's going to get this. Kenny's going to get it. But Jomas has got the run here. Jomas has got the run towards the line. This is going to be ridiculously close. Jomas is going to get it. Jomas has got it. Jomas has got it. Just, oh my word. David P3. And we're P4. Oh, but we've got penalties to drops down here. Jackery Q has dropped down all the way there. But oh my word. On the line. On the line. Jomas gets it. Oh my word. What a victory for Jomas. That was unbelievable. I <laughs> can't believe that happened. It's possible in these minutes without Slipstream. But there is your grid answer mix on P1 followed by GTL. It's Quinton, Swagai, Beans, Rapid GT, Hasname, Monte, Quinn Edmonds, Papa, Adamore, AB Saints, and Lewis C. Is indeed. Look at that. He's dropping half a tenth every second or so. And GTL is up the inside of Antimix straight away. Up into turn one we go. And GTL is into the lead here. Into P1. And GTL is looking to try and get maximum points. Once again, Quinton looking for a way through on Antimix. Going side by side as well. Further back. This movement's here, there, and everywhere. It's two by two further back. But we we'll follow this lead battle here. Antimix, Quinton and GT Alex fighting for the lead here they're side by side Alex has no idea where to go they're going to have a, the opposite of the Moses manoeuvre here and Alex is looking to get mugged here as they head towards St Mary's three wide doesn't really go here into the right hander we go and then into St Mary's who is going to come out on top here looks like it's going to be GT Alex Antimix on the inside here gives Quinton a bit of space on the exit as well fair play to the drivers behind somebody's gone off to Narnia there and uh, we can see GT Alex is going to have to go defensive here. Antimix has got the slipstream here. Monte is coming into play here as well. Monte could gain a position if any action happens up ahead. You can see the line is stirred further back. Lewis is eventually catching up here. Antimix looking for the move down the inside. Using that slipstream a little bit here as they head towards Woodcut. Quinton's looking to go as well. It's going to be three wide into Woodcut. This does not work, guys. Three wide. Back into two wide. Oh, it's close. It's close. A little bit of contact here, there and everywhere, I think. Oh, they're through, they're through. It's still GT Alex from Antimix and Quinton into the chicane we go. One last time in this sprint race. GT Alex gets through there. GT Alex is headed towards the line. It's going to be GT Alex from Antimix from Quinton here. That's going to be a 1, 2, 3, followed by Monte in P4. In P5, it's going to be Rapid GT. So, well, guys, had a bit of an incident at the end of the race. It's going to get mugged at the end by B's potentially. No, just just keeps that. AB states in 9th. We have Hasdain in 10th. Papa 11th. 12th for Quoid Edmonds. And 
13th for Lewis C there. But uh, three we go. All survived there, which is good. And look at that. Two, three wide. Here we go. Maybe even four back there. Adam Moore being a bit of a train here. And Quinton looking to try and get through there. Oh, a little bit of a nudge on Beans there. Got to be careful there. Quinton to our guy on the inside of Adam Moore as well. As they continue on through Ford Water now. And Monte looking to try and get past. Well, oh my word. Three wide. Be careful of the radar, guys. Into the right hand, there we go as we prepare for St. Mary's. Who's going to survive this one? Papa's gone off again. This could cause carnage. It's a big crash with Adamore. An absolute huge crash there with Adamore. But Lewis C survives. AB Saints, Coyne, and Edwards have all gone off at this moment in time. And oh my word, what a huge crash there. But Lewis in the lead at the moment from AB Saints, from Coyne, Edmonds, and Beans. Adamore, very much the innocent party in all of that. Papa just lost it. On the entry there, and uh, yes, big accident, big, big accident. It's happening here with these guys. Mini Madness, this is why it's mad, uh, because uh, usually in the mid-pack, it's a little bit carnage but uh, try and keep it clean, guys. There is an incident system in place as well. A little bit of contact there between Monte and Corey and Edmonds. It's a woodcut we go, and three wide does not work here, guys. Well, apparently it does. They managed to survive that, and uh, through they go. Has they ran the outside there? How on earth did he do that? And into the chicane of death, or one of them, known in this game. And AB Saints off on onto the grass but round we go Coyne Edmonds looks like he's had a good run there as well and uh, wow three four wide here we go let's just jump to your lead battle quickly because Antimix and GTX are very very close to each other here one tenth of a second separating these two drivers Antimix going for the inside is he going to get this just it's getting closer getting closer had to pull back in there let's jump a bit further back further back so our guy looking to get the move done on the right hand side here we go so our guy in, up into P3 I'm sure here had to slipstream as well and Rapid GT looking for a place to overtake He's going to push along a little bit here. Goes for the uh, little cut on the inside. No, nope, brings it back. Just lets off the throttle a little bit here. Can see what's happening up ahead. And so our guy currently in P3. Round we go. Round St. Mary's. And uh, they all survive that once again. Look at that. Look at that lovely vision there. Papa's on the grass there a little bit. As uh, we come towards Lavant Corner. And uh, Hasnain just keeps his all line astern now. There you go, guys. Take another drink in the morning races. And uh, no mistake made so far, but Antimix right on that bumper of GTR. It's really putting Alex under a lot of pressure. He has to nail the chicane every single time. And there he has it. And Antimix is going to have the run on GT Alex as they head towards the start finish line. Now they're going to be side by side as they cross the line. It's going to be Antimix leading this race from GT Alex. First time Antimix has led the race so far in this feature race. And he's going to get it heading, heading into that first oh, corner. They head towards Woodcut for one last time. GT Alex looking for the move on the inside. A little bit of a dive there, but... Antimix manages to survive just, I think. Oh, a little bit of contact there. I think that's a bit controversial in my books. But Antimix... Oh, Alex lets him go. Alex lets him go. Fair sportsmanship there as they leave the last corner. Antimix gets a bit of a push from GT Alex. GT Alex is going to get this. Oh, they're all over the place. Further back. Swag AP3. Rapid GT. Going to lose a position to Quinton potentially. If we look further back. Oh, there's a little bit of carnage here. And I'm not sure who's going to get this in the end. They've all got penalties. They're all going to be one second. They're all over the place. Who knows who's going to finish where? Let's just find out. And at P5, I think, went to Rapid GT. Six for AB Saints. Seven for Williams. Eight for Papa. Nine for Monte. Ten for Hasnane. Uh, Papa, actually, P8 from the back of the grid um, for most of that race. Well played to those guys. Uh, fair play to Alex in all of that. Three laps here at Goodwood Motor Circuit. W1 to lead the way from Zakave. That looks like then smoke screen channel to be bexed in. Naked Wookie 54. Chewy B Racing 1, TT Base, Ram 461, Vagabond, and Gaudi Hornet. Uh, and uh, we'll jump to the lead battle because Zakave has just overtaken W1 there uh, on the bank corner and is accelerating away down the straight smoke screen, looking to take advantage of a bit of slipstream as well. But to be all, W1 sees this and to jump straight into Zakave's slipstream. It's also a little bit defensive here as well from W1 as we head towards Woodcut here. Zakave, W1, smoke screen into Woodcut we go and uh, very careful of them all and uh, through they go and Zakave leading the way towards the chicane now a little bit wide there from the Gaudi Horn has just gone uh, way wide there but through the chicane they go they all survive and uh, yes nice racing by everybody Ram's gone off a little bit there in the Looney Tunes machines Zakave to the left smoke screen to the right W1 in the middle and uh, let's see what happens lovely camera this we've not seen this camera today into woodcut we go w1 gets rid of the penalty that's a good job by w1 bex all over the back of w1 oh bex going for the cut back here heading towards the chicane bex on the inside is it going to work no it doesn't i think it's a little bit of contact there for zakovate on the barrier smoke screen as well w1 looking to come through here gets p2 as they head towards the line it's going to be two three four wide further back chewy looking to get moves done as well but zakovate gets the position from bex 
from the Naked Rookie, Chewy, Ram, Smoke Screen, Child of Beat, Din, Gaudi Hornet. Uh, and then we've got a few penalties here, there, and everywhere. 54 gets P10, Ram P11, Vagabond P12, uh, B Racing P13. And there you go, TT Base with the fastest lap of the race in P14. Wow, what an end to that race, eh, guys? Woodcut, actually, we jumped to the lead because B Racing 1 has just overtaken Max Bailey down the straight here as they head towards Woodcut for the very first time in this feature race. B Racing 1 into the lead. Max Bailey right behind. Just cuts the grass a little bit. Oh, big contact there between Max Bailey and B Racing 1. Uh, personally, if I was Max Bailey, I would give that one up at some point and let B Racing 1 back through, but we'll see what happens later on in the race. Um, that just looked like a bit too much of a cut to me. Uh, TT Base now taking advantage of that, but everyone else gets it through there and TT base up into P3 uh, but let's jump to our lead battle now Max Bailey Chewy there side by side it's Tesco value versus Mr Bean up into Ford Water we go and uh, side by side Chewy looking to get the move done 54 once again on the action as does Bex who is going to get this done? My light's just dimmed, so hopefully we don't have a power cut here. But in we go. Oh, there's a little bit of contact there between Chewie and Max Bailey. They're breaking for St. Mary's. with Foss getting on the edge of the... Bex goes on the inside of the 54. Gets the move done. What a move there by Bex. And through there we go. What a move. That was very opportunistic. And Bex looking to try and get P2 as well. Chewie having to defend from all angles here. B-Racing 1 trying to get in on the action as well. Doesn't quite work for B-Racing 1. TT Base getting in there as well. 54 has dropped down a number of positions through all of that. And uh, looking to try and make the positions back up. But Chewie in P2. Bex P3. Bex the mo clear mover in that action at St. Mary's. And uh, Max Bailey still leading the way here. And uh, Bex surely has to be opportunistic here. Let them fight. And then just take the positions off them when they can as we head towards Woodcut once again Bex goes to the inside there trying to get this opportunity made and uh, doesn't quite do it here Chewie gets the lead there so after all of that oh B Racing 1 on the inside oh it's going to be side by side into the chicane oh 54 backs out of it I think that's smart play there oh Chewie hits the barrier Chewie has hit the barrier Max Bailey goes through Bex goes through Chewie's going to drop all the way down this field one mistake of that chicane, and you're gone. Look at Chewie's dropped. He's not even in the top eight anymore. He's down in 10th. Going to be 11th. Potentially even 12th. It's going to be Bex and Max Bailey now. And uh, we continue now. Max Bailey, Bex, W1, B Racing 1. They're all side by side here. Neck and neck as we head towards Woodcut. Max Bailey on the inside, W1 looking to try and follow Max Bailey through the corner, but Bex pulls back in, look at that, superb driving by Bex, I've got to say, looks to try and get the move done, could be on the inside for the chicane here, Bex and Max Bailey, oh, Bex backs out of it a little bit there, I think, forces W1 then to go side by side, oh, that's going to be close, that's giving Max Bailey a little bit of a gap here, it falls W1 into a bit of an error there as well, Chewie up into P3, Chewie back up into P3 after the mistake earlier on when he dropped down to P11, and now it starts to shrink with that weak slipstream as a uh, we look to see if Bex makes a move on Chewie. I know there's a lot of action going on further back. Um, as uh, we continue now towards the right-hander. And uh, in we go. It's Max Bailey, Chewie, Bex. Through they go. And Max Bailey's going to get this, I think. And Chewie's going to get P2. Unless there's a mistake by Max Bailey. Oh, he nearly clips the barrier there, but doesn't. And through they go. And it looks like Chewie's got an excellent run on here on Max Bailey. Is this going to work out? At all. No, it's not. It's going to be Max Bailey from Chewy, from Bex, from Chalnaby, from Smokescreen. B Racing 1. Ah, W1 gets it from B Racing 1. They're 54. Gaudi Hornet, Naked Rookie, Zachary, Ram, Vagabond, TT Base, and Din right at the back there. Din's had an absolute horrendous race there. Uh, but here we have the starting grid TLE, Big Mac, Rear Donated, The Coops, Marty B Racing, Mario Moles, Forest, Matt Joy, Team Inter, Lars, Agrusa, Hunty the Punty, and Gersey. They're your 13 drivers here. But Rear Donator and Big Mac, they're side by side here. Rear Donator going to have a little bit of slipstream here. They're side by side trying to get that slipstream off TLE. TLE's about to get mugged, I think, because the, both of them are catching up at a fair pace of knots here as they come through Ford Water now and in towards the right hander. It's Rear Donator on the outside of TLE and Big Mac. Through they go. In to St. Mary's into the breaking zone and Rear Donator just gets it done. TLE's been knocked off a little bit there by Big Mac. So TLE dropping all sorts of positions. Rear Donator into the lead and Big Mac into P2. So TLE, a lot of work to do now. Through we go. And they do nearly did. Big Mac's ground a little bit wide here. The Coops on the inside of both of them. So did Rear Donator as well. Uh, too wide into the chicane. Oh, it's a big mistake there. Murray Mills has to slam on. Big Mac actually hits the wall, goes wide. And Murray Mills did well to escape that. Forest 4A is just giving him a little bit of a push as well. But the Coops up into P2. Forest 4A into P3. And Rear Donator said, see you later, guys. I'm off. 
And Murray Moles into P4. So Big Mac manages to survive after all of that. A big shout out to Murray Moles there. Slamming on the anchors to avoid the collision. Heading towards Woodcut. In looking, looking, looking. Decides against it. Into Woodcut we go. Everybody makes it round nice and cleanly there. TLE looking to try and get the move done as well. Because he's accelerating hard towards... Uh, the pack uh, there, through they go, and uh, oh, Mary Mills looking to get, oh, that was TLE, TLE gets the run, they head towards the line, TLE up into B2, surely, oh, it, oh, right, well, that is so close, there's, it, it, there's no time, it's an equal time, <laughs> it's an equal time, what, <laughs> oh, my word, Oh, it's nice, 7,000 for Murray Moles, got it! And uh, further back, uh, all sorts of carnage. There's going to be some carnage here coming into the chicane, I'm sure of it. Oh, yes, there's a bit of action going on there. TLE and Martin B racing into the barrier there. A bit unfortunate for those guys. Let, let's uh, jump to this lead battle because the Grusa's got a hell of a run on Ferris 4A here. So we head towards turn one once again. It's a Grusa down the inside of Ferris 4A into the lead of the race here in this mini madness race. And uh, a Grusa making it work. A team into 51 looking to also take advantage of that. Going to the inside potentially. Pulls back in looking for that slipstream to try and get a bit more of an advantage. Big Mac a bit further back there. Let's take a drink. As we continue towards the woodcut now, Agrusa goes defensive, Big Mac to the left hand side. Faz de Coops now, a look towards the inside, there's going to be contact, there you go, de Coops nails it, absolutely bang on point, through into P2, and looking to get P1, but falls in behind Agrusa here, into the chicane we go again. Uh, Agrusa doing a very good job here, up in the lead at this moment in time. Further back, there's been collision there, with a couple of people, team into 51 is involved in that one, and uh, falling all the way back, TLE back up into 4th, Forest 4A coming back into the mix as well, back up into P5. With TLE, Forest in there as well. It's all very close. And Big Mac on the inside of the Coops. The Coops trying to go around the outside. Now Big Mac looking on the inside of Grusa. That's not going to work. Grusa on the inside. The Coops around the outside. It's inside, outside. It's absolutely everywhere. And the Coops on the inside of a Grusa. Gets the job done. Through he goes. And TLE goes. Thanks, guys. I'll have that. You keep fighting. I've nailed it. Through TLE goes into P2. I'm going to be fighting with the Coops in to Lavant Corner once again. Through we go. Hunting the punty is unfortunately the left of session. Not sure whether that's lag or anything else, but through we go. The Coops AP1, TLE P2, and Big Mac in P3, P4 for Ferris, P5 for Grusa, P6 for Murray Moles. We've got a what? 10 way battle here, I think. Well, let's get on the inside of Gersey. Into the right hander we go. And Lars is going to get our position surely, but Gersey's going to keep it for St. Mary's. Into the breaking zone we go. Lars goes for the ultimate cutback. What a beautiful move from Lars there. Absolutely stunning. Gets the move nailed and done. Absolutely brilliant racing there from Lars Venez. Left. But rear donator, that coops there side by side going down this straight. And that rear donator going to get the lead from the coops for the first time in this race. The coops going to have to come in behind. He does indeed. And rear donator up into P1. <laughs> oh, you guys in the jokes. But here we go. I started that joke. So, yeah. Stop stealing my jokes, you plebs into the chicane oh my word big match just gone and very hard into the barrier very very hard but through we go for everybody else oh it's a big crash that involved marty b racing at the chicane two into one doesn't go there and unfortunately a lot of people lose out there nice. on this last lap here we head towards woodcut for one last time it's rear donator from tle it's three tenths of a second that gap is coming down now as we head one last time into this corner into this breaking zone and rear donator gets it stopped a little bit of rotation there through there they go it's still three tenths of a second all rear donator has to do now is nail the chicane and through he goes, and it looks like he's going to... Oh, he's on the grass! They're both on the grass here! But unfortunately for Rear Donator, he's... Oh, no, he's going to get it from TLE! And then the Coops is going to be in P3, P4 for Murray Moles. Get rid of that penalty. P5 for Mars Be Racing, and P6 for Big Matt, P10 for Lars. And uh, I think Forrest went in the pits at the very end. <laughs> they did indeed. Uh, that's going to be your final race this evening. And Rear Donator is the victor there, followed by TLE and the Coops. What a finish there. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Uh, that's it in terms of the racing. And here are your championship standings as of the end of round number four. That just happened at the Goodwood Motor Circuit. As you can see, Jomas still leading the way from GT Alexer. I'm crazy in P3. Uh, and there are your top 16 drivers as of this point. Now, remember, it's best four or six rounds that count. So at the moment, all rounds are counting. 
when we get to round five, that won't be the case. Let's have a look further down the standings now as we jump to page number two. And we can see Beans leading that top group. And you can just see, and I say this every single time, how close this championship is. Eight drivers on the left hand side separated by 15 points. On the right, it's 14 points. Literally, positions mean everything in this championship. And you can see that right there. You saw Rear Donator in this video get full max score a full 65 points jump straight up the leaderboards there with a tie on 114 points there with lzr lewis we look at page three now and a three-way tie there 54 stag and tsr ryan and you can see how close this look at that there is six drive seven drivers that are separated by four points four points that's literally like one or two positions in the race and you jump up so many positions let's look at page number four now jackery q team into 51 you just saw at the very end there same with jersey martin b racing a lot of these guys racing each other w1 who had a fantastic race in this round well especially the qualifying as well w1 with a superb qualifying lap uh, and we'll continue on through the championship standings as we go to page number five now. And you can see it gets very close down here. Literally, if you get into a small lobby, you can easily jump positions as well. That's sort of the unique aspect of Mini Madness. You know, we try and fill the lobbies up as much as we can, but sometimes we have to split them like we did in the first race, uh, the first rounds, the morning rounds. Uh, and you saw what happened there. Less drivers, more chance for points, and it allows some drivers to just get that little bit more of an advantage. As you go to the final page, they are your championship standings. And that is going to be it for Mini Madness round number four. We are then going to be going to round number five, which is, of course, Brands Hatch. Another interesting circuit, of course. One where the video features quite a lot, the intro video. Uh, and once again, we're going to have some more fantastic racing to bring for you. Uh, remember... Down below, the VODs, if you want to watch them, see how the full race actually happened. And I know I've had a lot of messages. How do I join Mini Madness? How do I join the Community Championship? Keep an eye out in 2020, around about the end of April, because news will be coming for a new Community Championship. But that's going to be it for me for now, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video.